Hello everyone, Sheik here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy, Huffer! And as you can see, he turns into a little truck, uh, there he is in his robot mode, very angry with a gun, uh, there's the arc crashed, and on top of a volcano, uh, not at the bottom, I don't know why it's at the top, anyway, um, then of course same, uh, box art that is also on, um, deep covers, just as you can see. Uh, his more muted colors, and this is all in color, so that's why it looks so familiar, because it's pretty much the same thing. Alright, and then on the back of the box, uh, we have his, uh, in truck mode, robot mode, transforms in 14 steps. Caution, do not eat anything in here. And yeah, that's about it for the packaging level. Let's go ahead and get him opened up, shall we? Uh, pop that open, flip this up, slide him out, and nice beastly eyes right there. And, and it already escaped from me, but warning, don't eat anything. All right, let's take a look at his instruction booklet. There we have Huffer in his robot mode, aiding up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There he is, there his, his shield thing and his gun. There you go, flip its head around, arms, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then, then that, 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 and the other, and there you go. Huffer in his truck mode, and let's go ahead and take him out of his box, shall we? Uh, well, his, at least the inner box, anyway. Okay, get that off. Get these off. I really need to bring scissors with me next time. Left them in my locker, so yeah, that's the way it always is when you go somewhere, whether it be, whether it's to review Transformers, take a break which is what this is kind of is too and there goes his arm coming down is that you generally forget something you always forget something sometimes it's more important sometimes it's just more of an inconvenience uh, but there we go got him mostly out just need to get his oh there's another one on his leg okay there we are now we got this out I can probably get this a little bit easier now there we are now I have Huffer out of his, ah, uh, come on, caught, caught in his, uh, the joint itself. Ah, there we are. All right, let's go ahead and get Huffer put back together again. There we are. And as you can see, he is one of the mini bots, although uh, it looks like he's a little bit bigger than Bumblebee. Then again, I don't have him with me currently, so I can't you know, make the side-by-side -side comparison. Which makes me so sad that I don't have my collection here, but never mind. No storage for it, so can't have it here. But maybe later on, one day when I get to go back, I will do some comparison videos. Get all my kingdom figures together and whatnot. Alright, before I forget about them, which I almost did, because i that's just me. I tend to forget things. There is his gun, which is done in an orange plastic with dark gunmetal gray. Looks very nice. Definitely a big gun for such a small bot. And here is his shield thing, uh, claw thing. I think that's supposed to make his truck bed. And he is, hmm, was he supposed to have two guns? Was he supposed to have two guns? No, no, just one gun, just one gun. That splits in half. Okay, the gun splits in half, of course. Did not notice it, but there is a nice little seam. But, I mean, it's well hidden, of course. But, yeah, splits in half. And then, I guess you tab him onto the sides. And there you have his the sides of his truck bed. So, yeah, definitely two accessories that you probably do not want to lose. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at that noggin of his. It is just a light purple but it looks almost like a light blue, but it's more purple uh, with silver for the face. Um, maybe a little blue for the eyes. It is on, I do believe, on a ball joint. Uh, uh, yes, on a ball joint, but not a whole lot of motion, but you can do full 360. A little bit of wiggly waggly that way, and not much wiggly waggly the other. All right, and besides, you can't really access his head too much when it's up like this. And his arms can go out that far. Um, can go full 360. He does have bicep swivel. His arms can bend just under 90 degrees at the elbow. 
Uh, no back motion and his hands do not rotate but it looks like they do that but that's just probably for transformation and then he does have a waist, waist swivel full 360 nice and stiff uh, legs can go out that far so he can't quite do the full splits legs can go for it that far back that far knees can go that far but that's probably also more due to transformation as well just a little bit off from where you'd expect it to be but can go kick himself in the butt and then he has ankle tiltage and this is probably more for transformation as well but you can flip that up and as you can see there is the trailer half of the trailer hitch that you can use to well have him pull off this trailer which is another reason why i wish i was back home so that i could you know show him off of Optimus' trailer because there is, I think, one scene in one episode or maybe he does it on a couple occasions, I can't really remember, but where he actually pulls Optimus' trailer, which is really cool, I mean, considering that it's not a huge major plot thing, but it's there and they decide to include it as a nice, cool thing because I don't think the original toy was capable of doing that. Alright, I'm going to go take a look at the instructions real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, before I get done transformation, of course, I always seem to forget it sometimes. <laughs> Accessories. You can go ahead and put his uh, riot shield thing on his arm like that. And you can put his splitting gun in his hand like that. And there you go. A gun and a riot shield. So you can block shield and bang, bang, pew, pew at the Decepticons. Although I don't think he really, he probably had a gun, but I don't know if he ever had a shield in the show, but it is something that you can do. All right. And I was wrong about uh, that making the, well, it does make the truck bed, but it is not essential for his truck mode, although it does add a little bit to it, makes it look more like an actual trailer little thing, like a, like a truck bed, rather than just, you know, a hitch for a, a bigger trailer. But what you do is, if you want to make that, you don't have to do it separately. I just think it'd be kind of cool to have it set off to the side. But you just go ahead and split the gun and peg it right here. I mean, I'm technically doing it out of order, but this is kind of what his truck bed looks like. And you can just peg this on over his, uh, well, the trailer hitch area. All right, so first thing you want to do to transform him, I mean, it doesn't say to do this, but you can pull that back just to make it easier to access his head, rotate his head around. Then you want to pull his shoulders down like that. And another thing you might want to do is to rotate his arms like that, just so that they're lined up for a later step. And then you want to pull this back. And one thing you might want to be careful of, because it already happened to me once when I was transforming him, that these, since, I know, it's one thing I've griped about before, but is that... Transformers, they have gotten better as far as design, like as far as how they transform and all that. They have definitely improved in that area, but they've also gotten cheaper too. As in, you know, they don't, they, they like they'll have good engineering for how they transform, but not necessarily good engineering as far as being durable and sturdy. Like this could be, like the tires, they could be held on sort of like how this hinge is held on with the little metal pin to, or, just so that it's, you know, not going to pop off at the first, you know, moment. And then you also want to get his shoulders tabbed into his waist, which means you want his waist lined up perfectly, as you can see. There you go. Get tabbed in like that. Tabbed in like so. And get this rotated just so. Get it tabbed in. And there you go. You have the cab, which is pretty much hollow. Although, um, you can't necessarily see his head all too well, which is probably good. And then the hinge, I guess if you want to look at it, looks almost kind of sort of like truck seats. But then again, I mean, I don't think it really care matters all that much. Oh, and then you want to go ahead and tab his legs together and his feet. And then you just rotate those around, tab it in. And as you can see, trailer hitch. And then you can see the three pegs for his truck bed. Rotate that around, and there you have a nice little truck. Not a pickup truck, not a semi-truck, but I, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I'm sure he's based off of some sort of real truck. Then again, maybe not. I really don't know. 
really cool, but, you know, big smokestacks um, saying that he's, like, very powerful little truck. Um, like I said, doesn't really, looks a little too big to be a pickup truck, but also too small to be a, be a full-size tractor trailer. But he can pull full-size tractor trailers, and then you go ahead and tab that in. And as you can see, with this on, you cannot have him pulling Optimus' trailer, but uh, it's a way to store his weapons or defensive cap defensive shield and weapon i mean it's an interesting way to do it i mean they could have just had to where you know the gun plugs into here and that could have been the end of it but they actually decided to take it a little step further and it looks pretty good i mean i guess the only gripe that someone could make other than like the tires for example wanting to pop off and afraid that might break him because to move these back because these do kind of snap into place kind of good or well tightly so that when i I started to pop off the tire again as I was um, trying to loose or move, break it loose from there so I could move it back. And of course, this does not want to stay on. So I don't know how well, um, as far as storing them in this mode is going to work. I'll probably just have the shield on and then have the uh, gun just put together. It's pegged here or something. But yeah, nice little truck. I mean, very nice little truck and definitely. G1 accurate, at least in the robot mode. I like I said, Huffer is not one of the huge main characters, but he is a toy that or a character that needed an update, I think. Because I remember seeing some of the other Huffers, and they do not look like um, the original Huffer. Oh, and I forgot about one thing. Good thing I saw it because I would have thrown it out otherwise. But the obligatory sticker, and this one is of the Autobot arc. Um, I'll just carefully peel it back. Oh, Art gets uh, shot down by um, the nemesis. But yeah, um, I would decode that thing on the bottom, but uh, I just want to preserve the sticker as long as possible so I can send it home, and then maybe I'll do a collective video of all the stickers I've amassed since then. Anyway... This has been a uh, Sheik's Transformers review of the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Huffer. And until next time, have a good one, everyone. Food for thought. If they are making a Titan-class Autobot arc, does that mean they will be making a Titan-class Nemesis? That would be very interesting. I hope to get the Autobot arc. And if they make a nemesis, that would be very cool to have them displayed side by side. Anyway, till next time, have a good one, everyone.